Oh, overseer. Hey, lady. Oh, thank God you're here. I almost... Shit yourself? It's just so good to see you. Oh, thank you. Let's talk downstairs. Oh. Cozy as this place is, Moonwalk there's... Moonwalk champ. Someone I'd like you to meet. Okay. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. Yeah, it's a, got a nice looking camp, lady. <gasps> look around, I'm gonna raid your fridge. Oh, you only have a dinner plate in there. What kind of place is this? How'd you open that door with a blank terminal screen? Tell me your hacker ways, lady. I like your armor. She's got one spiky leather boy on her shoulder there, her left shoulder. I like it. And nothing else. Oh, hello. Davenport. Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Hello there. Keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, so good to meet you. Hi. The overseer has been so oh, excited to see everyone And a desk again. fan. Once yeah. you've acquainted yourself with our new arrivals, I may have some field work for you. Mm. I couldn't have uh -huh. pulled this place off without him. Let's talk. What? It's good to see you, but we need to focus on the inoculation. Is it done? Yup. Good, because we're going to need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming People in. are returning. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions. They're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. Or do they? I'll make contact with the newcomers. Get them inoculated. I knew I could count on you. Get them knocked up. I'll work on finding <laughs> a way to make enough of the inoculation for everyone. You just get them all to agree. Sure thing. What do we know about these newcomers? Judging by the architecture, the ones to the north are the old Raider Pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. <gasps> My boys are Might, back! Uh, need to talk to her about them. See if she can arrange a meeting or, or whatever their word is for we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. Yeah, you can't trust those fucking settlers. This reminds me of the vault tech training. Do you remember? To how to make friends. Oh, yeah. I, I can't remember the official title. You'd think it'd be burned in my head with how many times I played that for everyone. The reality is a little different, though, isn't it? Prepare for the future. Oh, no, my tummy. <sighs> you can count on me. Thank you. Really. It's good to have my vault family around again. Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now if you want. Or if you're ready to head out, just... Be careful. <laughs> Just head out. <laughs> All right. You don't have to tell me twice. Bye bye, lady. You can count on me. All right. Let's head on out. Oh, Rose, I'm back again. Still hanging around, huh? All right. Spit it out. Blech. I may have all day, but you're the one with a job to do. I need you to get me in touch with the Raiders. Ooh, I thought you might notice them. That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I'm pretty sure I can swing it. Hey. Alright, let's hear your plan. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which her dialogue I'm sounds like it changed. Sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. Like they recorded at a different date or something. David? Emotional? Surprised? Sure, he 
may have killed and maimed a few people, but that doesn't mean he ain't got feelings. He's an emo? I'm pretty sure that's how this whole memorial thing came about. Tell me where this memorial is. Yeah, about that. David sort of didn't want anyone to know about the memorial. He thought the others would think he'd gone soft, and well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. Yup, I do. You gotta get to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. And burn easy it down. Easy peasy, right? Oh yeah. The place is probably wrecked the way it is. Are you going to join Meg and the others? Not high up on my list of things to do. I'm just here to keep them coming. Besides, I'm cutthroat for life, and I got my little buddy here to keep me company. Oh, you talking about fucking Madigan? He dead. Cutthroat for life! It sounds like there could be more to it. Eh, this will always be home. I can't leave top of the world. I'd be like betraying David, and we both know that'll never happen. Also, I may have pissed off Meg once or twice back in the day. I mean, probably more, but who's counting, right? Besides, I got the best view in town, and I'm pretty sure that white crap blowing around in the valley would be hell on my filters. You just get rusty, you'd be good looking, you know? Got that fine wasteland rust. Let's go to work, then. <sighs> back to business, just how I like it. Ready to hop on that trophy and AI program? One trophy and AI program ah, coming up. I knew I could count on you. And I swear, this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around. Alright, so you might have noticed uh, that in the dialogue that was Void. That's because I'm on my alt. And that's, like I said in the last episode, that's because... Uh... My, my, my last capture program sucked ass. I had a Roxio and it... It fucked up. So, I'm doing this with an Elgato now. Ooh. Rawr! Um, where was I at? So, yeah, I'm on an Elgato now, so things are a little bit smoother. Rawr! And, uh... <laughs> God damn it. Shoot me in the back, eh? I'll give you the old one, too. Where are you? Ooh, a hollow tape. Geraldine Fitzsimmons. It's been barely a week. Since the bombs fell. Oh, I'm coming. I'm That's gonna get you. <laughs> the former guests at the resort are not bad. That was a good hit. Exploring the feasibility of sending right, this, out scavenging this is groups to hunt room. down whatever they can find. Nice, What's nice. He's got some swag, on some is that blood on the wall, you know. Very great. Sending groups of their own. Who knows if they'll be friendly? Ooh, a little bit of an alcoholic, eh? Instead of waiting Ooh, to find is. out, we've That's a nice trophy. I like that. that. Our goods should be like locked trench knives and shit. Keeping. It's a smart move. And one that will keep our belongings protected until the government rescue teams arrive. <sighs> it's good to the know desk that is well worn and has so several drawers that can hold a clue about Rosalind's memorial. Closely examine the drawers. A close inspection of the... David's trophy? Pretty cool, right? Once Meg sees that, she's gonna know you need business. So I looked at the drawer, drawers, and there was a picture attached to it. So let's see what's going on here. Remember our anniversary? I stole that huge stash of chems, and you found that secluded spot across from Ripper Alley. We spent the entire night under the stars. I never seen you happier. Rest in peace, dear Rosalind. Oh. Okay. Well, where is that? Aha! There it is. They may have been a diehard, but they all started under David. Every single one of them. Even the Gormons would have killed for that trophy. Us cutthroats had all the power and they knew it. And that trophy was the biggest symbol of them all. Nice to see it still in one piece. Hope we can say the same for Rosalind's memorial in that AI program. It's right over here. Hey yo! Rah. Ooh! Ooh! Deathclaw! Deathclaw Matriarch? No way. I haven't seen one of you guys before. Not in this game, at least. Rawr, rawr, rawr. It was beating up on the beavers. I'll let you go. I'll let you live this time. Right, let's take a gander at this memorial. Look at that. Now that is one hell of a memorial. 
Memorial. La 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 la. <laughs> it's got a chem box on it. What you got? Fury? Oh, hell yeah. This is the shit. Ooh, so that's where he's been hiding it. On that memorial, I ain't too shabby. Especially since it's David we're talking yeah, about Yeah, it is here. pretty good looking. So now, you'll have to repair like that holotape. And there's only one place I, want I this can in my camp. that still have a functioning terminal to do it. It's out at Solomon's Pond. I know, I know, you're thinking, where is what's that? that like that doing out at such a cutesy little wilderness place? I think I'm going to take a picture with this. Let's just say some this. seriously yeah, intrusive operations went down there, so I'm pretty sure it's got just what we need. Alright, Solomon's Pond. I'm going to take a stroll in the basement here. I think that's that's kind of strange that the door just goes right into the basement. I've never seen that in, unless it's like a Bilco door. We got a little lab here. Enter password. Uh-oh. I don't have the password. Fuck. Uh, is it down here somewhere? Is it outside? Oh, it's outside. Okay. Oh, probably on that glowing... Thick boy over there. Let's give him the old one, two. The old season greeting. Rawr. Aw, man. Agent Ken's Kensing was ton. Ken <laughs> oh, God. Ooh. Stay away. Let's pop some of those. Oh, where's he going? Whoa. Whoa, he's phasing through reality. Stop. It's all over, law bro. Oh, God, my grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Die, you piece of shit. You thick boy, I'm coming for ya. Clap them glowing cheeks. Oh, why is everything on fire? Whoa. What the? Oh. What are you? I hate these guys. The whole AOE freaking shit. I mean, it's it's a cool thing that they added, but it's just a pain in the dick. Ooh, Overeaters Raider? Ooh. Oh, that's not bad, but I'm going to probably trash that. Anything else? What it, there we go. Assassin's Molemire, huh? Ooh. Too bad that they got rid of... Uh, er... They added a damage cap, otherwise that would actually be viable in PvP. Oh, another one of you guys? Come here, you. Oh, shit. I think bleed damage got that guy. Oh, no. Glug. Oh, hey, the hollow tape was in the shitter the entire time. Oh, terminal password. All right. Hollow tape repair. Ah, ooh, hey. This is something's happening here. I don't know. Talk to Rose. Okie dokie. I'll head right on up. Rose, I'm back again. And I got that thing yasked me again. All shit. Right, I got that back. shit yasked. Just when I was starting to get bored, too. Hope you managed to repair that old holiday. Mm hmm. Yep, sure did. Can you tell me more about David and Rosalind? Eh, they were into each other. David was never able to recover her body, so he made the memorial in secret. Didn't really want the others to see Whilst him all I soft take a like drink. <laughs> Why would David block access to some of your memory banks? <laughs> Who knows? Like I said, that guy was sensitive. Not everyone needs a constant reminder of their baggage. Deep down inside, we're all just a bunch of little bitches! First off, it's a whole lot of crap on David and Rosalind. I'm thinking it's like action-adventure meets romantic comedy, but not a good romantic comedy, you know? The kind that makes you want to puke. Second, it's the code I need to unlock some sealed-off memory banks that David didn't want me to access, but couldn't bring himself to delete. Cause he's a little bitch! Here's the AI program. As usual, so reliable. Uh, I love it. Mm-hmm. I gotta admit, I've got some pretty mixed feelings on tapping into all these blocks. Yeah, our audio changes. Uh, what the hell? Hand, they I'm must sure have recorded it at like a different date. Me off. Oh, 
Mom, different my sound father, guy. I'm pretty sure this would be a whole new world of entertainment for me. Always about the entertainment. You should take it all in. You deserve to know what he blocked. What he cock blocked. You know, you're right. I definitely deserve to know. Now, just give me a second. Leak, loop, lorp, I'm a computer. Ugh, oh my god. Talk about some serious drama here. This is some depressing shit. <laughs> I mean, I knew David never got to say goodbye, but he really did hide what he went through. You really should talk about it. What types of memories did you unlock? <laughs> Top not like he's the first. <laughs> Ugh, like a soap opera on overdrive. You know, boring stuff that no one cares about. Tough shit! <laughs> Ooh. I'd just love to know more about the memories. David sounds so fascinating. Let's see here. Uh, David getting over his dead wife and kids. Rosalind helping him keep it together. Oh, David finally getting ready to propose to Rosalind. <gasps> Ooh, then being devastated over losing her. David drinking himself into a stupor. Pooper. You know, all sorts of crap no one wants to be reminded of. Scooper. <laughs> He never talked about any of this with you? Obviously, he talked about it with me. Silly. He just didn't want me to remember, so blocked off all those memories. That's why I needed that program, to access those sealed off conversations. How did he move on? Uh, by creating a yours truly, of course. <laughs> oh, and blowing the shit out of the Summersville Dam. <laughs> Who doesn't love some good old-fashioned revenge, right? And wiping out all of Charleston. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay, moving right along. Okay, now where was I? Oh yeah, the plan. Let me just run some filters, a little arts and crafts. Farts and, and crafts. <gasps> Are you kidding me? All this data and I don't have the one word I was looking for? Shit. <sighs> okay. Fuck. to break it to you, but I need you to go back out there Ass. and find me just one more Yes. Wait a hollow tape. Ugh. Best bet Ugh. is Arctos Pharma, David's Ugh. old corporate stooge job. I need you to find me a holotape with David saying the word negotiate. Negotiate. Okay. Uh, David was a leader and he never used the word negotiate. Yep, no negotiate, <gasps> no Aliens are attacking. It his way or the highway. It's part of what made him such a badass leader. I'm on it. One holotape coming up. My hero. Now get out there and don't get yourself killed. I'll try not to. Did I just say that? Greta. <laughs> it makes me feel like a mom. Mama Rosalind. You can count on me, bitch. Okay, we're outside Arctos Pharma. We're gonna... Oh, there's three somethings that I gotta go find. Let's do this. Some bots in this bitch. Unidentified Ow. Ow. Stop. 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 They Beginning just tear through search. this. Oh god, I bought... Ah! Cola. Aw. False alarm. Nothing Standing good. What the hell? Down. I'm in danger. Ah! Nothing there at all. Still in danger. What the hell? Ah! Because there's an eye bot chasing me. These bots are too perceptive. He. Ooh. Come over here, Mr. Man. Rawr! In area. Meow. Mm, ooh, ooh, what the hell? Must have booped my head. I bought. <laughs> All right, where the hell is this? This desk? I'm assuming. Aha. Tessa, I need those reports by three today. Are you ready for the meeting? Nervous as hell, but ready as I'll ever be. Don't be nervous. <laughs> if you think you could do it? You wouldn't be going. That's oddly reassuring, coming from you. Take it as a compliment. You've got the business sense and legal background to have my job if you wanted it. I'd even venture to guess you're recording this very conversation. I will neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> and that is why I have every reason to believe you'll be running this company someday. You're gonna do fine today. See you in an hour. See you there. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, no to Damn. He's good. Oh. He'll never incriminate himself. This may take a while. <gasps> Bitch. Well, she's probably dead anyway. A note to self, book tickets to Pleasant Valley. Also, book to DC in case Rita bothers to check up on me. Oh yeah, and tell Rita to fire that cook, what's her name, because she completely ignored my express distaste of pickles. <laughs> Pretty sure she does it on purpose at this point. Still no <laughs> pickles! The pickles were under his tongue this entire time. And there's my car keys. Board meeting. All right, folks, these terms are ridiculous. Absurd, even. Mm. Ah. Not signing. Goddamn iBot. Mm. Get away from me. These terms are perfectly reasonable. Since when are environmental laws and fair wages ridiculous and absurd? Since they take away 30% of the profits we're set to gain, Lawrence. <laughs> you can talk to me about fair wages when you give up your bonus. Come oh. on, David. We need to wrap up this Ooh. deal. Our partners are getting impatient. <laughs> There has to be room for negotiation. Why don't you just fuck off, Lawrence? I'll be the one who says when it's time to negotiate here. And our partners are only impatient because they need this deal more than us. They just hope we don't realize it. Now go back to your desks and figure out how to get me that 80%, or I'll find someone else who can. I'm back. All right, time to finish this little pet project. How did David go from corporate executive to cutthroat leader? Leadership skills, charisma... David was a full package, really. Not to mention just a whole lot of tall, dark, and handsome. Mm, I think it tall, did him some good to finally dark, pull off some real mm, skin. You know how corporations <laughs> and their HR are big fans of murder. Here's the hollow tape. Ooh, I gotta admit, I don't have many files on David and Rosalind talking about their pre-Raider days, so this will be pretty interesting. I'll just give it a quick listen. Yep, sounds like David, all right. <sighs> Ruthless even then. It's fucking savage. Getting back to business, a little slice and dice, some audio love, and voila! Mission accomplished. All you gotta do now is take a quick trip to the nearby relay tower and set up a new transmitter to get this bad boy broadcasting. And then Rose's dialogue gets all fucky again. Really? You're gonna make me go fucking do more shit? What does this entail? Oh, just using a holotape to set up a new connection so I can transmit this message. Nothing fancy. Sure, nothing I haven't done before. Oh yeah, I heard that old Duchess lady's radio signal start up a while back. <laughs> I should have known that was you. Here's the program you'll need to run at the relay tower. Just load it up and follow directions. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, really. And here, as a token of my gratitude, you can have this old holotape back as a souvenir. Hey, all right. Doing, doing. Hello? Ah, oh, super mutant. <laughs> Die, super mutant. <laughs> ah, they're dead. Give me your shit. Maybe not all of your shit. Yeah, they're, just give me some of your shit. Ooh. And that delicious meats. That gives plus melee strength when you cook it. Uh, I am strongest. Strongest super, super mutant. Super mutant. The hookup. Activate transmitter connections. Ah, electricity. Remote transmitter connected. Beginning recorded message loop. Hey, uh, Meg. Listen up. I'm David fucking Thorpe. Get your ass over here. Top of the world is where it's at. Top of the world, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Woo! Or I will kill every last one of you. Hey, Meg. Listen up. Broadcast loop confirmed. Congratulations. Your transmitter is now connected. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I forgot about the turrets. Uh, run away! What? Anyway, confession time. Sure, I could have got Meg out here licking split. I hope I don't stub my I mean, toe. Don't get me wrong. She really ain't my biggest fan. 
But believe me, this broadcast way more fun. Now, you probably want to haul ass back to the mess, because uh, something Hello? else is making all the racket. No, I'm <laughs> You're friendly. Gonna Don't shoot me, nice please. For when Med shows up. Okay, let's tidy this place up. The oh god, lighting errors. That's the one thing I don't like, the loading. When you load in, the light gets all funky. Now, where are these? They're scorched in here. There's one. Die! Rawr! Oh, really? Oh, so much for the big buff that they did. This one scorched just ate like 30,000 rounds. Rawr! Okay, I think that was all of them. Glug. Glug. Wait for Meg in the Mizuna. Hello! Hi! Raider lady, I'm one of you. Oh god, I'm gonna die from radiation now. Never believe it when someone says- the hell is this? Job. Where's Thorpe? She looks like super pissed. Later. That's not Meg's David's way. not here. I had Rose send the message. You got that old diaper pail on your side? So the hell are you? Don't tell me you're one of those worthless settlers. I ain't no worthless settler. And what if I was? If you are, well then, this conversation's over. Because you're trespassing, and we don't take kindly to criminals. <laughs> Criminal scum. I'm from Vault 76. Holy shit, a vault dweller! <laughs> Even better. You come scurrying out of your little cubby hole, and you think you can start making demands? Think again. Ah, come on, I have David's trophy. Don't you want it, bitch? David's trophy, huh? Wow, you must be dead. Or turn tail if you've managed to get your hands on it. Huh, I take it this means you recognize me as leader around here. Hmm, smart. Looks like you've got yourself a brain after all. Uh -huh, sure as how does I'm have generous, brain. I'll spare you a I minute is to super tell me what smart. you want before I get back to retaking Appalachia. The only thing that matters right now is the Scorched Plague. Uh-uh. You don't get to talk to me about that. We lost everything to that disease while you were all sitting pretty underground. The plague can be prevented. We need to get your peeps inoculated, bitch. Inoculation? That's just some bullshit the responders made up to sucker the weak out of their supplies. Didn't fall for it then? Sure as shit ain't falling for it now. Hmm. It's made of synthetic antibodies from the species that display resilience. I tested its e efficacy. Efficacy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you do know what you're talking about, but I don't know. I got my own straight line solution. Kill them all. Got a raid against a group of Scorch going down right now. Why don't you head on over? See a real plan in action. You mean see all your people die, you dumbass? Sorry, but we need to move quickly. You're the boss. You can make the decision right now, right? I already made a decision. You're asking me to change it. But what if this raid doesn't work? You'll be humiliated. You'll need something to prove you're still a good leader. Something like a cure to the plague. Is that it? It's insurance, Meg. Simple as that. You look good in front of your crew either way. Huh. You know what? You've sold me. <laughs> I'm in. Yeah, yeah, get to work on that inoculation. I'll call the raid to come back home. And now all the raiders are friendly to me. Those blood eagles are crazy. Hey, all right. And people think we're the bad guys. And that completes Strange Bedfellows. So what are we having for supper tonight, Meg Mama? Apple of chili? Well, all right. I will get to work I'm all right away, Mrs. Man, Mrs. Woo Man, or whoever, whatever the fuck. I don't know. You hit me up at the crater once you got that inoculation. I don't recommend showing up empty-handed. Oh, I won't. Who's this? I'd get out of here if I were you. You get out of here if I was you. This don't this you guys got a job to do seven six? Yeah, off up I'll, I'll be on it immediately. But this guy's a three-star legendary. What the hell? I guess you could like. Stab him instead. I'm going to dance for you, Mr. Man. Give me your legendary weapon and everybody- Get out of my face. <gasps> what did you fucking say to me, bitch? 
fuck you, you piece of I shit. I hate you. I'll give you the old one too. Punch <laughs> you right in the fucking seven, noggin. Seven. All right, I'm out of here.